of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God. My <clears throat> help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I confess, God Almighty, blessed is Mary, the Virgin, blessed is Michael the Archangel, blessed is John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter, Paul, all the saints and your brethren, that I have sinned to see me in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I beg, blessed Mary, the Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter, and Paul, and all the saints and your brethren, Pray for me, the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring, he, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant our most pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Will I not turn again and quicken us, O God, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Rejoice we all with the Lord, keeping feast day of honor, blessed Anne, in whose solemnity the angels rejoice and glorify the Son of God. My heart is indicting of a good matter. I speak of the thing which I have made unto the King. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning and now and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Rejoice we all in the Lord, keeping peace, day and honor, blessed Anne. In whose solemnity the angels rejoice and glorify the Son of God. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth and peace and will to our men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, our most high, the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, who all blessed hand is vouchsafed to be so embraced, to be made worthy to bear the mother of thine only begotten Son, mercifully grant that we who celebrate her festival, may through her intercession find favor in thy sight. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Lesson from the Book of Wisdom. <coughs> <coughs> who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh well and willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships, she bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. She considereth the field and buyeth it, with the fruit of her hands she planteth the vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good, Candles goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands all to the staff. She stretcheth out her hands to the poor, yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. 
She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her calling, are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her the mouth of wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Here endeth the lesson. Thanks be to God. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Wherefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness. Alleluia, alleluia. Full grace of thy lips, because God hath blessed thee forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Continuation of the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus spake this parable unto his disciples. The kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net was cast into the sea, and gathered of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore, and sat down, and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth, and sever the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They say unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand and stand the queen in the vesture of gold, brought about with divers colors. brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. And the Lord 
receive a sacrifice in thy hands for the praise and glory of his name, of our Lord and all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech, O Lord, once we have respect unto this our sacrifice, through the intercession of blessed Anne, we are the mother of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The same may be profitable unto us the increase of our godliness for the attainment of everlasting felicity. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is indeed right, right, so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth come forth thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, which is down in my eyes. Almighty and ever living God, by thy way, apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee, most mercifully, to receive these our oblations, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching to inspire continually the universal church, the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. Grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity to godly love. Your grace, Heavenly Father, to shame our primate to all bishops, priests, and deacons, they may walk by the life of doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, <clears throat> and rightly until we administer thy holy sacraments. We beseech thee also to save and defend this our country, to grant to the President of the United States, to the Governor of this state, and to all others in civil authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. And we beseech thee so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. We most humbly beseech thee thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we commend unto thy merciful goodness this congregation which to hear assembled in thy name to celebrate the commemoration of the most glorious death and resurrection of thy only Son. And here we do give unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints from the beginning of the world, and chiefly in the glorious and most blessed ever Virgin Mary, Father of thy Son Jesus Christ, our Lord of God, and in the holy patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs whose example, O Lord, the steadfastness in thy faith and keeping thy holy commandments, grant us to follow. We commend unto thy mercy, O Lord, all other thy servants, who are departed and answer us with a sign of faith, and now to rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshment, of life, and of peace. The Father say to grant unto us some portion of fellowship, with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with all thy saints, within this company we beseech thee to admit us. Therefore, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy has given thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, to make there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. We beseech you to hear us the words of our Father, and when thy Holy Spirit and word about take to bless and sanctify these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. On the same night that he was betrayed to the bread, when he had blessed and given thanks, he break it, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me.
and our souls washed through the blood of the precious blood. And we may be born to our Him. In us. God, the only one taking the way the sins of the world. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Through thy body and soul. Under everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for thee. Serve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee. Spot of sin remains within me. 